Well, hopefully if the dust doesn't screw up the focus this time, it was on the first three takes of this video. This is my sister's attic. This happens to be where I'll be spending my holidays, or at least sleeping, or trying to get some sleep. And, of course, she's got kids, and this camera does not focus very well. So, um, where was I? Trying to fix my autofocus. So anyway, I'm up here in her attic. As you can tell, the kids made sure I had friends to sleep with, apparently. And of course, since I've only had my RTL SDR set up for a couple of days, I had to bring it with me. And I put some stuff together last night that I think would make a really good, you know, portable SDR kit. You know, just uh, about as much stuff as I could cram in a little cigar box. Well, actually, two cigar boxes. Because um, the RTL SDR equipment is not that big, obviously. And I could easily carry it in my laptop bag. But I wanted to go ahead and I had to figure out some other solutions because that's just part of the equation. So I've got two boxes of stuff here. So let's go ahead. We'll open them up and we'll see. I'll show you guys what I've got packed in here. This is the main SDR box. This uh, Inside, we have a USB battery that seems to be fully charged supposed to be fully charged um why is that in there you'll find out i have this is a 20 feet long piece of wire that i use for my antennas uh because what gives a radio without a good antenna i have a shorter i think this is like an eight foot segment this is a random piece i found that i picked up and threw in the box again you need to have stuff for antennas and down in the box i have various clip leads because those always come in handy. I have my USB cable for my Ham It Up converter. And of course, I've got the Ham It Up converter, the SDR dongle. This is the base for the antenna is in here. The mail -in's already connected to its wires. And I'm pretty sure that I got everything in here. Yeah, I see the, uh, I see the, the other pigtail down in there. So, this box is really it's kind of what I'm calling the prototype because it contains most of what I think I'll need to throw in a box to be able to play with my RTL SDR and do some DXing wherever I am. Unfortunately, I had ideas of bringing more stuff that would fit in the one box. So I'll take this box and put it aside and I'll pull out this other box that had wire terminals in it at one point, but I dumped those out and I stole the box. So this one's a little bit trickier to get open because it is packed kind of tight. And you'll see why. In here is all mostly antenna stuff, but I wasn't sure what antenna stuff was really gonna work the best. So I decided to pack two boxes and later on we'll get this down to one box. So in this other box of antennas, I have a package of cable ties because let's face it, you need to attach antennas to something even if it's only temporarily. I have one spool of wire that's 30 feet long. This is a 30, I think this is a 30 foot long piece of wire. Um, here's another 30 foot long piece of wire. And I did two because I could figure I could play around with running each one to a side of a bale in and putting them opposing each other and see how it works or I can connect them to get one 60 foot long wire antenna. I have some smaller four strand wire that I can either use as a small antenna or to help attach things help it, or help attach antennas to things. I'm sorry, I don't even remember what I packed in here from last night. Also in here I have a pre-made this is the Sony pre-made folded Dipole for FM made out of 300 ohm twin lead. I've tested this on the Balin and it works really well. I don't have to use a 300 to 75 ohm Balin and then adapt that. I can plug this directly into the 1 to 9 Balin and it works well enough. And uh, just because I can't have enough twin lead, I have another random spool of twin lead that I threw in the bottom of the box. And then, of course, the very important things. I have a cheap multi-tool that I got from HAP. This is from my previous career of working on CoinOp. This was actually a freebie. You order enough stuff, they send you free stuff. Um, 
And of course, I have a roll of black vinyl electrical tape. Um, and that's basically it. I tried to pack, tried to pack everything as tightly as I could. And as I said, I'm not really sure how these antennas are going to work. Um, I don't get very good reception at my house for things like FM. I get all right reception with things like shortwave, but I don't get very good reception with FM and I only have one antenna up and I haven't really had a chance to play around. That's why I went ahead and went with two spools of 30 feet of wire. Uh, that was about as much as I could fit in there. And I figured a 60 foot wire is, you know, it's not nearly as long as what I have at home, but it's probably a little more appropriate. I think mine's a little bit too, too large for most of the bands I'm attempting to listen to. Um, and of course, the other spools of wire, just because sometimes I don't feel like cutting wire and I'd rather have just a shorter antenna. So, uh, the whole goal of this trip, aside from doing the whole Christmas with the family thing, is to figure out what out of these two boxes, wire-wise or antenna-wise, do I really need to get an enjoyable mobile DXing experience? Um, I do have, and I guess I ought to go grab it. Oh, I guess what I'll do is I'll show you why this is pretty important to me as we walk through my sister's mess. I apologize that I'm not much better. Is outside the back door, I have really nice deck access, and I'm already pretty much at roof height. So rather than trying to fling an antenna over the roof, I can just probably string one along the railing, maybe go and uh, drop one down the railing, see if a vertical antenna does any good for me. And uh, I figure that'll be, you know, a little decent little DXing spot, as long as it doesn't get too cold and starts raining. And the other thing I've got, the other piece, of course, is you can't, you can't do a whole lot with SDRs, without a laptop computer, which I know won't fit in the box, but the box is just accessories mostly. Um, of course, inside the laptop bag of mine, aside from a tablet I'm giving somebody, is my incredibly 38 inch long whip antenna that I mounted onto the screw base or the screw attachment for the base that came with the thing. Um, I used to have a 30, 36 inch or 39 inch antenna this size on a portable shortwave unit and it really really did a good job i'm anxious to get my adapters so i can run this directly into my converter and see how well it performs so hopefully by the end of christmas i'll be able to narrow down just what i need and what i don't need and uh i'll i'll, I'll share a listing of what what I found I've needed for a portable SDR environment. But uh, I'm really kind of looking forward to doing it. I wish I'd brought some pins. I could actually literally probably just attach the dipole in here between the uh, sides of the ceiling because there can't be that much difference in height. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I've got a lot of time to play around with it. Um, so, yeah. This is uh this is what I got going on this Christmas. Uh I should be spending time with the family. Well, I will be spending time with the family, but of course I'm weird enough that when I go on vacation I think about what radio stuff am I taking? And I used to take radios and antennas. I remember I went to the beach about nine about eleven years ago. It was actually I went to Myrtle Beach and I had my Sanjian portable shortwave. And I said, I can't miss a chance to do some DXing at the beach. So I went out to a dollar store and I bought <clears throat> probably about 75 feet of speaker wire, split it all right down the middle. And I actually flung wire over the rental house and then down from the balcony and did some DXing at the beach. And I had pretty good results. So I'm anxious to see how this kit, these kits I've put together come out. Ultimately, I'd like to get it down to one box, even if it's, you know, find out exactly what wire I need, because I may not get any better performance out of these, out of these wires. 
um, depending on how I string them here. But I may be able to cram it all down to where I only need just one box and I can put all my SDR stuff, the, the dongle, the converter, and the wires and everything in one box and know it's going to be protected a little bit better than things that's floating around inside the laptop bag. So, these are my SDR kits. Clip lead made it out, fell on the floor from earlier, an earlier take. Um, yeah, again, sorry I didn't really have this planned out. I'm trying to do this between kids screaming. So, I'm going to put some of this stuff together, go out and see how it works for FM with the, uh, the dipole. And uh, I'll do some videos in the next couple of days on the performance of all of this and let you guys know what works best. And I'll, I'll probably make up a list of what to assemble to do this. So anyway, uh, happy holidays again. I'm sure many of you will probably be watching this after the holidays, which is normally why I feel funny saying that in a video that's only shot around Christmas and has nothing to do with Christmas because in three months you guys are going to be going, why is this guy saying happy holidays? Well, you know, it's December 23rd right now, so I guess I'm in the spirit a little bit. Or I've been into the spirits too. <laughs> anyway, have a good one, 73s, and uh, hopefully I will uh, catch some of you guys on various forums. I'm on the Facebook group. I'm on the RTLSDR forums. I just haven't been very active in those. I've been spending most of my time learning how to do all this. So anyway, have a good one and I will talk to you all later.